Welcome back inside Washington Grizzlies Stadium as the number 11 ranked Montana Grizzlies take on the Ferris State Bulldogs in their final of three non-conference games. And no doubt about it, this will be our most challenging game yet. Ferris State, they may be Division II, but they are a powerhouse. If this is not going to be your average D1 domination over D2, Ferris State can very well win this game if the Grizz don't come out and play. If the Grizz want to win this game, they better play their absolute best because if they don't, Ferris State wants to come in here and shock us, and I know they they think they can. They don't lose. So if the Grizz come out and play sloppy, we might be walking out with a loss. As for what's surrounding this game, I can't remember the last time I was this excited for a non-conference game. There is so many events going on around this game. First off, it's a night game. Night games are always super fun for everybody. Second, there's a post-game fireworks show for the first time in, I think, ever. I don't ever remember there being a fireworks show. Third, there supposedly is a very special guest raising the 37 flag. Don't know who it is, but apparently it's someone very, very special. And fourth, as you can see, the uniforms. It is a blackout game. The fans are going to be wearing black. The uniforms for the Grizz are going to be wearing black. This should be a very fun game. But I think I've rambled on long enough, so let's get into this thing. Montana, Ferris State, let's go. Guys, the new Washington Grizzly Stadium first. We're playing Kahoot. I'm, my name is Wise Lion. Let's see if I win it. I probably won't win because there's like a thousand people. Hey, who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky. All right, everybody, here's the pizza review. Pizza number one looks awful. Pizza number two looks much better. Guys, as I said last game, find me in the maroon. We all black today except my hat. Couldn't find a black hat, so go with the maroon hat. But still, it's very hot in this all black. In the sun, it's extraordinarily hot. Guys, this is something you don't see very often. Since I get in all the time, you don't see what the tailgate is like. Look at all the people, guys. Tailgating here is top notch. I never do it, but if you're a fan of tailgating, you gotta hit up Montana. I mean, there's people everywhere. <laughs> Guys, comment below what you think of the black jerseys. I personally think they're awesome. I wish we wore them more, but comment below what you guys think. Also, guys, that Kahoot game, I got 8th place out of 197. To prove it, I took screenshots so you knew I wouldn't lie. So 8th out of 197, not a top 5, but I'll still take it. Guys, I've yet to give my prediction for the game, but first let me tell you a little bit about the Ferris State Bulldogs. All their line is massive, over 300 pounds. That's why 28 consecutive road wins for Ferris State, even more impressive three regular season losses since 2013 the last 10 years it's like the dj Khaled song all they do is win 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 no matter what that's why this game is so challenging because these guys just don't lose my prediction though i think they've never played an environment like this yeah they may be dominated division two but they're about to step foot in the mecca of fcs football it's a close game but montana prevails 35 24. Guys, this will be the last clip you see of me before kickoff, so I just want to say this. Hopefully you could be here. If you're not, I feel bad for you because even though there's still 35 minutes, you can feel the excitement in the air. This place is going to rock, and I have a feeling when we run out of that tunnel, this place is going to go absolutely crazy. So for one last time, you'll see me. I think it's finally time for the pregame festivities to end. Montana, Ferris State begins now. Let's go win. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Washington Grizzly Stadium for tonight's blackout featuring the Bulldogs of Paris State and York, University of Montana, Grizzly! <laughs> 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 
Guys, it's halftime. I'm truly speechless right now. I'm just going to give you with some words. It's 10-3 Ferris State. No touchdowns for the Grizz. And we look absolutely horrific on offense. I think it's time for McDowell because if he doesn't come in, we're not winning this game. And 
I know it's still early in the year, but a loss to Division II Ferro State more than likely ends our season, even though it's only one loss. This is an unexcusable loss. We can't lose. We have to come back. And right now we look, we look pathetic. We have, I don't know, guys. Uh, hopefully at the end of this video I'm talking about how happy I am we won, but uh, just, let's get on to the second half. I know it's 17. I don't know it's 17. That is an awful call. Go back and watch that clip and tell me that's not a fumble. That is a fumble all day. Go back and watch and see for yourself. That's a fumble. The Nintendo D for a pass interference. $26,000. Things way too close. Oh, I love 
that stuff. I'd love they played a good game. And tell you what, their team can compete with anybody in this division. That's gonna do it for the video. Hope you did enjoy it. My initial reaction is what a game. I told you at the beginning the energy was gonna be off the charts, and man, was it. From the opening kickoff, Sean O'Malley raised the flag. If you don't know who that is, there's something wrong with you. It was just a fun day in Washington Grizzly Stadium. They announced attendance, a new record. I seriously cannot wrap my head around that. It's not the Bobcats, it's not a rival, it's not a playoff game. We just set a record for that stadium against Ferris State, a Division II team. Who would have even imagined that? And it was rocking all night long. You know, it's a good win. It's a good win. Even though, you know, I would have liked to win by more, sometimes you just have to win ugly. That is better than losing ugly. And that's what we did today. So unfortunately, no video next week as we travel to Flagstaff. They just got beat by Utah Tech. We beat Utah Tech pretty handily. My early prediction for that game is the Grizz should win, but going against a team that plays in that sky dome if you know the grizz they struggle in dome so we'll see how it goes but hopefully you enjoyed the video and i'll see you when i post again